Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with the next. This time, super happy to start another new Marvel series. Uh, this is also going on to our new list of series that are going to come out early for patrons and then a little bit later on YouTube cut down. So if you're seeing this and you're a patron, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the whole cut. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, sorry that I am not able to give you the whole cut. But uh, I'm trying to give you as much as I can, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. I'll be trying to do a little bit more reviews with these because of that and just giving a little more time to my individual episodes. And so this is going to be kind of like a reaction slash review. I'm super excited. Uh, this is Marvel's What If series. And for those who don't know, uh, Marvel has published a line of comics since I believe either the 60s or the 70s uh, known as What If which is basically similar to, I guess, I don't know which one came out first, but it's similar to Elseworld Tales from DC, which is, you know, this whole concept of like a different past uh, for our superheroes. Like, what if this happened instead of this? For example, what if um, Doctor Strange never became the new Sorcerer Supreme, right? And it was still the ancient one. It's just random examples, right? Or what if, uh, I don't know, Drax was the son of Thanos instead of, you know, you could pick any number of random ideas and then they pick this premise and tell the story as if that were the real, right, story. And so it ends up being a branch off and they consider that an alternate universe in Marvel, which is why you may hear a bunch of the numbers like 616 and I forget what the MCU's number is, like 1099 or 10... a thousand ninety nine. I don't know. I can't remember what the number designation for the MCU in the comic book numbering system was before Secret Wars number two killed it. Well, Secret Wars 2015, sorry, not number two. Um, and so there's a bunch going on with this. Now, I don't want to bore you guys with too many more facts, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. If you don't know what's going on, I don't know how well Marvel's going to do the intro to explain it. Uh, I will say I'm already super happy having gone through Loki to this because it really does spark off into that multiverse and i know we've been getting teased a whole bunch obviously with spider-man and wandavision with quicksilver and a bunch of other stuff sorry for the spoilers if you haven't seen but i do think that this is obviously going to be their real intro into it and then we'll go into multiverse of madness with dr strange and we'll just see how that all wraps up you know what i mean there's going to be a, a ton of stuff still coming we got eternal shang chi and a whole bunch of the great stuff probably that's going to come out i don't know that's all relative sorry i'm getting random noises on the thing things are unplugging but uh yeah we're gonna just kick into it this is episode one what if captain carter were the first avenger i don't remember if there's a comic on this i don't believe there is i think they've been trying to do fairly new and original ideas although there's obviously different kind of similar ones um i'm not gonna lie i've not read every what if comic uh, i've probably read like 50 of them and more so the new ones than the old ones. I did read the, like the first 15 or something, but it's a little, they're a little tougher. Anyway, that's my three and a half minute just spiel. As always, support the original content creators over at Disney Plus on Marvel. I think that's the only place you can really watch this, but you know, and obviously support Marvel Comics or you know whatever else if you enjoy it. And if you enjoy watching with this, you know, just hit that hit that like button. It really helps a lot. It means the world to me. The world. All right, let's go. I'm excited to see the intro even more sometimes than other things because it really is important to have a good intro to hook your audience onto what you're doing. But I guess we'll see, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up. I was all right up. I actually like that though. I, I like that now my mic is like right outside the camera frame, so I know I can't I can't go farther than right here because the mic blocks me. And then if I'm way back here, I know it's far, and so I know I'm not getting heard. Hopefully this fixes my issues because unless you slap on a dumbass limiter compressor that makes you sound stupid, that'll always like go in and out because of sound bass. Well, I'm also using a, ooh, hello. Uh, the Watcher. Branch out into infinite realities. Ooh, look at this, all the sneak peeks. Worlds from the ones you ooh. Oh, who's that on the bow? Yes, look at him. Why does he like kind of look like Eternity? I know it's the Watcher. I'm just saying like if you look at that outline. Oh, maybe it's just a te teaser trailer, right? What? 
what if? So this one, I, th I think that was a cool intro. Granted, I talked over the whole fucking thing. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more courteous during this. Oh, hello. Earth, June 1945. Okay, here we go. He is doing it. Mortals can only dream of doing such things. Not bad on the animated interpretations. Comfortable in the booth? No, I prefer to stay. There. That's the moment that created a new universe. When asked to leave the room, Margaret Peggy Carter chose to stay. But soon choice, right? Maybe made the difference between this story and that story. What is she? I was gonna say she's gotta get big, right? She did, right? Oh. It work. And then some. You won't be needing those hills anymore. Yeah, she is a big woman now. I like big women. Right? Wow. And if we get lucky, someday your blood might tell us how to make a real super soldier. You have a super soldier. Women aren't soldiers, and they sure as hell don't fight on the front lines. They might break a nail. Too real. And don't worry about me. I never was much of a dancer anyway. Maybe you haven't found the right partner. I don't... I don't know if they've gotten the actual original actors to voice him. I haven't been point, paying that much attention because he's been Lil Steve and he's been to the side. But I'm not 100% sure that that's actually him. Uh, the main woman kind of sounds like it, but I don't really know her voice that well, so... Did that guy get killed in the original? This doesn't remind me of the original Colonel. Never mind a platoon over a glorified batter. The greatest minds alive. And Stark is one of them. This doesn't concern you. You're lucky to be in the room. Colonel, the greatest minds alive can't fathom the extent of this battery's power. Good. Who knows? Maybe the war will be over before Hydra figures out how to turn the damn thing on. That guy's a fucking idiot. I, did they get a new general? Damn, from the fucking damn. That's impressive. Look at it go! Superhero landing. With the shield, too. What's she gonna do? Through the window? No! What? That's fucking crazy! Oh, what? Okay, that's a little stronger than Cap's supposed to be, honestly. I could make maybe something about her body to weight ratio? I don't know, man. That's uh, That was a little more within the range, I think. Like, we kind of saw a little bit of stuff I could put to that. But damn, man, stopping the movie car? That's a whole nother thing. Oh, hello, who's this? She's kicking there. Oh, wow. Ah! <laughs> she gonna break his foot? Oh. She did this field. Uh. Oh! Oh my god, bro. That's just mean. We're watching that one again. No! And good night. Good night, Moon Man. Oof. Exactly. You mind if I have a go? That, yeah. We've kind of seen that from Bucky and Steve and some other people who have superhuman, right? We know that he runs faster. He can probably run. Maybe not at the... I don't know. They, they actually buff Captain America's powers for the MCU as opposed to basically most other characters get nerfed in some way. Damn! She is fancy dancy pantsy. Who are you supposed to be? Queen of England? That's a little much. She is definitely stronger than Definitely and then there with her uh it's nice to see the parallels. But oh my god, yeah, she is absolutely stronger than Steve's version for whatever reason. Like we've seen him do some stuff, but not so casually rip. But did he in the original? Maybe he did do all that stuff, same shit, and I'm just forgetting. But I swear, she is putting out some intense 
strength levels to do some things she's doing. He kicks it. And he gets to be Iron Man. <laughs> Dancing shoes. Oh, that's cool. I don't give a... Bro, if you hate on this episode, you can hate. But this is dope. Oh. This is really cool, man. I'm so happy for this. I don't even know why. Like, I didn't think I really wanted this. But the way it's like... Working out is really di really damn good. Uh, man, guys like this are why shit goes. Well, one of the reasons why shit goes bad. Hydra stump. Hello from Brooklyn. Wow, and then she rides the back of him. That's so dope, actually. Look at that. And she got a little handle. And then she can jump out and you can go get her. That is actually so dope. And it's such a thing that, like, even though Iron Man and uh, Captain America work together, you know what I mean, in fighting, is they could, I don't, they could not have, like, this, right, level of compatibility and, like, teamwork. I mean, come on. It's, it's, it's Peggy and Steve. Just a regular gun. That's funny. Hail Hydra. <laughs> Jeez. Nice reveal here. The third Reich. The third Reich will fall. And Hydra will rise from its ashes. Technically in the MCU that's what happened, so in the original timeline or the one we you know, you know. The way people view me has changed. I'm no longer screaming to be heard, to be seen, to be in the room. To be respected. Well, Steve does know a little bit about that. I'm still that skinny kid from Brooklyn. Now just in a big metal suit. You're more than the suit. The suit is nothing without the man inside. You're my hero, Steve. I, I mean, you're... <laughs> You're my hero, too. Hey, Barnes stole a Jeep. Come on, Steve, let's go. You too, Carter. Whoa, hey, what's going on? Oh, no, no, no. No, you continue. Just pretend I'm not here. Wow, really? That's how they end it? No, I was like, there's no way that's how they end the episode. Well, this is actually going at a good pace. Like, it doesn't feel slow. But I was, like, afraid that was the end of the episode. So does he just stop the train this time? I'm in position. Copy. Time to make our entrance. Commencing operation where eagles dare. Hey, that's probably a reference to something that I do not know. Let him go. Uh oh. Peggy, go! Get out of No. Run! They gave that big nod to Bucky not falling just to do this one. Wait, does that mean he comes back as the Winter Soldier? <laughs> ah, tiny little metal arm. I'm sorry, I shouldn't joke. This is a sad scene. She should never have been in the field in the first place. All that. I hate it. I hate people like that. Uh oh. Colonel, you're lucky to even be in the room. Red Skull wants to destroy That's Iron funny. Man. In many ways he already has. Oh, uh, I'm not a you know. Come on, Howard. We might need someone to push a button. <laughs> that was a good reference. I like the choreography honestly with the shield. Her her shield choreography feels so natural like for for me, maybe I'm just like stupid. But like when the shield comes back, it's you know she has it ready for to block bullets and to, you know what I mean. Not saying that uh, MCU Cap doesn't. I'm just noting they did a really good job on it. Whoa! Jeez! I was gonna say if she's is. Ooh! Well, that, was fun. that was that was fun. She them dudes up. 
This is interesting because this is actually more reminiscent of some of the comics where he was trying to bring in through monsters through portals and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's the original comic, so that's more like some stuff they did in the 90s as like flashbacks. I don't know. Oh, he's there. Ooh. What are we getting a show of? Are they actually going for like, I can't remember what character the Hydra thing was based on. Yep. <laughs> okay, maybe we need a plan. Uh, that was actually funny. I can't believe they did that, but cool. Stark was right, indestructible. I'm up for anything. This is crazy. Yeah, so is Steve Rogers. Yeah, so is Steve Rogers. Crack. Nope, not enough. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Good, because we don't have all day. Oh no, he's good. He just fell over. Do the high card. Ah ha! Straight through the roof. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> That's funny. Oof. Well, she's definitely superhuman there, just living through- Oh, and now she's got a sword? Oh. Red, green, blue. Who paints the bottom blue? Uh. The American playboy needs help pushing buttons. Teddy Lamar and I spent a weekend together, but she wasn't teaching me German. That's funny. Ooh, it does have more tentacles now. Jesus. I like how it changed the color of the energy projection with this power source. Who or what is this? This is not doesn't look like Cthulhu or uh, Shumagorath. Damn, she is strong, bro. God damn. Oh, is that energy? Oh no, are we do we still lose Steve? Peggy, no! I have to. I can end this. Okay, no, we do lose Peggy. Damn. Interesting ending that's, I like, oh, interesting mix. Oh man, poor dude. And poor Peggy. No. No, that was, I mean, it's cool though, man. Like, I like how it kind of mirrors the other one. It's a little bit, you know, you knew it was kind of coming. We, you're kind of like feeling out which ones get stuck. And so this is a long time later, most likely. And she killed it, huh? Or at least stayed alive. Because I did hear a roar. Ma'am, please put down the sword. Almost 70 years ago. Yep, you knew the scene was coming. You going to be okay? Of course. We won the war. Her one choice gave birth to a whole new history. I observe all that transpires here, but I do not, cannot, will not interfere. For I am the Watcher. Hey, there we go. That's more of kind of what I like. That where he's back framed also in space. I think I've seen him as. That was cool, man. There's definitely probably not post credits with these because there there wouldn't really be too much of a point in having them. You know what I mean? I'm not go back here. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't. But regardless, that was really good, guys. Um, I like a couple things. One, I like that for whatever reason they made Peggy Carter so damn strong. Jesus. Like, man, she was, she's a beast, beast. Uh, and I like that, I don't know why. I have no real reason to believe that or like it, but I do, so yeah. But just in addition to that, I think that there was a lot of cool kind of coming back writing in the sense that, you know, even in the, where, where Stark talks to Iron Man in one of the other movies uh, through the recordings, 
or sorry, uh, Howard Stark talks to Iron Man, Tony Stark. He tells him, you know, I'm limited by the technology of my time. And so seeing him get access to the Tesseract, you know, Tesseract and then powering the suit and Steve Rogers being Iron Man. I mean, there was a lot. I talked about the chemistry between their two characters, which is, I do really believe is something that there is one comic universe where uh, I can't remember either Captain America or Iron Man is a woman during the Civil War comic and they marry each other at the end of some shit. But yeah, you know what I mean? It, 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 this, in, Except for that one case, I think that that is like the most compatible. You can see them fighting like that fight scene in the air was so cool. Uh, there was a lot of good writing, I feel like, in the sense that you got to see similar scenes with different perspectives or lines right when the the red skull is talking with them we get more information now about the tesseract and odin i think but maybe you know i'm just maybe i forgot about it again once again from the first movie because it's been a while since i've seen the first avenger so yeah despite all that i i just really enjoyed it i feel like there was a pretty good pacing to it i said in the middle or maybe it wasn't quite the middle but i said like it doesn't feel like it's dragging on but at the same time, uh, time is passing at a good rate, right? Like, I don't, f uh, our time isn't passing too quickly, right? It was like, oh man, it's already over. Well, no, no, it still had some more left. So there was a lot of good to say about it. Obviously, I mean, there's always things in different ones. I wasn't, I guess, once again, they put the different, the colonel in instead of the guy we got from the movies because they wanted to give that adversity to Peggy as a woman which she absolutely would have had at that time and was I, I don't mind at all covering it I just felt like it was something that was a little bit more shoehorned in than some of the other things so it just wasn't written in as cleverly in my opinion uh, for example I think like the whole scene in the in the cells with um, was it Dugan? I can't remember his name, but uh, the, the the fighting commandos, and he's just like, oh, when the guys fight, that was a way better like call to it than the adding of a total dude, different character, the kind of things. But I also see why it was supposed to like to kind of change things, I guess, and and make things a little different in certain senses. But yeah, there were there was a lot of good of 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 it, and obviously just like everything else, some small bad things. But tell me what you think. I do want to you know talk with you guys a little more get your feelings on the topics and and how you think they were executed film wise or uh translation wise from comic or even just how you felt about it personally you know you don't always have to have a reason for things those are called opinions <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always support the original content creator if you enjoyed watching us remember to like and comment to us you know what you felt like subscribe to get more videos or hit the bell to get updates on the videos and uh you know as always we appreciate any constructive criticism so if you want to call you know tell me what i could do better next time i'd also appreciate that with that said we're gonna go ahead and end this first uh reaction slash review to uh what if episode one from marvel you know i'll see you next time because there's definitely gonna be more marvel stuff coming out all year so yeah thanks guys and have a great one